Have you ever made rice and it's crunchy? With this fail safe method, I promise you, you will never have crunchy rice again. There's always a method on the back of a packet, but sometimes you don't want to make that quantity. This is a fail safe way every time, no matter how much rice you have, it will always turn out perfect. You only need four things. A saucepan, some water, a lid. I mean, this lid's not the greatest as you can see, but you know, it does the job, it makes a seal. And some rice. Add your rice to the pan, however much you think you might need. Also, I've been cooking rice all my life and I always cook too much, so don't worry about it. Cold rice is also great, you can do many things with it. Maybe I'll make a video on stuff you can do with cold rice. Add your desired amount of rice. This is probably enough for two people. And then, the trick is to cover the rice So we've just covered the rice. As you can see here, just covered. And then what you wanna do is go to your first knuckle here. This is gonna be your measurement of how to make perfect rice every time. So you sit this on top of the rice, your one layer, and then add water to your knuckle. So you're gonna add water to this line of your knuckle while this part of your finger sits like that on the top of the rice. Be careful because as you add the water, a depression will be made. So just make sure it's flat. And as you can see here, I just need a little bit more water. And that's it. Finger on top of the rice, up to my knuckle. And then, we're gonna put this on the stove, turn it onto a medium heat, and cover it like this. You just wanna keep an eye because it can bubble over while this water's evaporating, but you need to keep the, the lid on or just a tiny gap so a little bit of air can get out, but you need that steam to help cook the rice. And then when all of the water has evaporated from the pan. We take it off the stove and we leave the lid on for 10 minutes, just like that. Don't touch it, don't move it, just leave it be and you'll have perfect white fluffy rice. So the rice has gone onto the stove. It's probably gonna take about 10 minutes for that water to totally evaporate from the pan, but we'll keep an eye on it. I'll show you the process. As you can see, there's a tiny little gap here which means that some of that steam is able to get out, but you don't want too much disappearing. I've taken the lid off to show you, but as you can see, the water has nearly all evaporated. There's a tiny little bit popping out, but I'd say we're ready to turn off. I've taken it off of the stove and we're gonna let it rest with the lid on for 10 minutes. The rice has had 10 minutes with the lid on steaming away, making it all lovely and fluffy, ready for us to eat. Let's take a look. As you can see, each grain is individual. It's plump. All that water has disappeared. And we have hot, but perfect rice. Let me know how it goes in the comment section below.